All right, folks, today we're making this amazing looking feta cheesesteak sandwich. So stay tuned. It's time to grill. Last weekend I was really craving for a cheesesteak sandwich and I didn't want to do the classic Philly version or the other versions I already made on my channel before, so let's get started with this update and idea of a feta cheesesteak sandwich. So I started with the chopping work, two or three cloves of garlic, two medium sized onions cut in half and in rings and two bell peppers, a yellow one and a red one. I don't want to bother you too long with the cutting boringness, so here it is, our steak for today. This is a lamp strap and we're gonna season this one with scotch salt flakes called black thorn flakes. Thanks for sending me, I guess you know who is meant here. Then you will need a little bit of a sauce, which is quite different today. It's lime juice, two limes, half spoon of honey and soy sauce. This is the perfect combination of acid from the lime, sweetness, honey and the saltiness of soy sauce. You should give this a try, it's amazing. In the meantime I have already preheated a starting chimney full of charcoal, place that into my baskets Put on the dirty grill grate, heat it up, clean it, add a cast iron pan, sprinkle in some oil and start with onions and garlic. Heat it up slowly and keep on stirring every now and then. As soon as the onion and the garlic change color, add the sliced bell peppers. Again, heat that up for three or four minutes and then we add pickled pepperoncini, the ones that are a little bit hot and are available in a glass, just sliced a little bit. Now everything should get soft. Make sure not to overcook these and then sprinkle in a whole package of Greek feta cheese. The feta cheese will start to melt immediately. So place this on another grill on low temperature, just keeping it warm. I'm using my gas grill today. We still have enough power for grilling the lamp straps on direct heat, three minutes per side. I made a lot of lamp videos in the last years and I'm always confused about people not liking lamp. I love lamp loin and lamp straps, tenderloins, everything about lamb. I love it. Knuckles, perfect stuff. But of course, if you're not into lamb, just feel free to do this one with a beef steak. Ribeye, rump, sirloin, whatever you call it, you will get great results here also. Close the lid and let that sit on indirect heat until it has the internal temperature and color that you prefer. I prefer my lamb pink. Great result here, it's so tender it melts on your tongue like butter. I have started with a simple baguette roll, put on some of that soya lime juice honey sauce and then place some of that wonderful looking, great color by the way, bell pepper feta cheese mixture. Then add slices of your lamb. And again, some of that sauce. Season with salt and la voila, my feta cheesesteak sandwich. I have to confess that I made a lot of better looking sandwiches than that, but the flavor and the taste is amazing. Great composition of different flavors. Can't wait to hear your thoughts about that. So, I would really appreciate if you could leave me a comment about feta cheesesteak sandwiches. Have you tried that? What is your proposal for another topping? I would really appreciate that. Just in case you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe to 0815 Barbecue International. And don't forget to visit my fan page. You will find me everywhere. Anyway, 
Thanks for watching. I'm out. See you.